Welcome to the Game Changer Podcast. Today's topic, I paid you. Where are my results? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Top of the morning. Welcome back. This is the Game Changer Podcast with Tim Ali. You guys better get your minds right and get up and let's go. Go, go, uh-huh. go. She is more than the What's up, my friends? Good to be with you guys today, man. I got one, like, really powerful for you. And if this makes a difference for you, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button below. Share this with somebody. Take a screenshot, tag me on social media, and I will share that on. Thank you so much for being here with me. Now, years ago... I wanted to change my life and go be a coach, which is what I do today. I'm actually here in my office shooting this with our team, and uh, I didn't always have an office. Started in my uh, little tiny bedroom in a house that I was renting, a duplex. Like That's where I started. And I remember I shelled out a lot of money, and I paid not one, not two, but three different coaches. And one of the coaches who made a huge difference in my life, I remember I shelled out like more than a teacher's salary, a lot of money for me back then. And uh, about two months in, I decided to quit. Decided to quit. I was like, my life's not changing. Your coaching program sucks. This isn't working. And I remember getting on the phone with him. He's like, hey, Satema, can we have a conversation? I'm like, sure. And I was mad because I was right. I was justified. I paid him all this money and two, maybe two and a half months had gone by and nothing had changed in my life. Coach gets on the phone and he says, let me get this straight. You want to be a coach? I'm like, yeah, that's why I paid you. And I paid two other coaches. And he's like, and you're quitting. I'm like, yeah. And he's like, why are you wanting to leave the program? He was a great coach. He asked me some questions. And I sat there trying to tell him, your program doesn't work when in reality, I was looking to be a victim. I was looking to get out because I didn't see these instant results. And I'm like, man, you know, I I still told him why I should quit and it wasn't worth it. I told him that and he was such a great coach. He was so patient with me. He said, cool, no problem. We will be here. And when you are ready to drive the car that you purchased, put the key in the ignition, turn it on, open the garage, put it in gear and drive the car that you purchased. I'm like, man. And he's like, stop being a victim, Satema. Stop being a victim. Why is this so empowering for me to tell you this? I have clients today. I love them. If you're one of my clients, I love you. And you know I love you. Like we pour into the circle of champions, into concierge, into high paid coach accelerator, into certified master coach, into stage speaking boot camp. We pour into the new app that is coming out, Game Changer. And people will pay us. And they will like the tiniest, tiniest thing will come up such as, well, I didn't see the email that you guys sent me about the change of the time for the call. And it is your fault, Satima. Or, well, how come no one told me that my password didn't get reset? I can't even log into the program. I guess this program is just, I can't believe I paid all this money for a program and you guys can't even call me back. So here's the thing I want you to understand. Stop being a victim. Now, most people like myself, I didn't think I was being a victim. I was justified in being upset because I paid my coach and my coach didn't save me. I was literally looking for a reason to be mad and to be right. Some of you today right now, you're like, I'm not a victim, but all you have to do is look at your life right now. Look at your health and fitness. Look at your purpose, spirituality, your faith, your direction, your purpose. Take a look at your marriage, the quality of your marriage, the connection with your children, and take a good look at your, ready? Pull your cell phone out, bank account, and just ask yourself, is it really someone else's fault that I don't have what I want? You see, if you pay someone, a fitness coach, and you don't track your food, and you don't do the workouts, and you don't do what the coach tells you to do, whose fault is it? I know, the person in the mirror. If you pay me, and you don't do what I tell you to do, whose fault is that? Just like I was at fault. Now the beautiful thing is this, here's the lesson, okay? Number one, I would say don't be a victim. There's a more powerful lesson here, and that lesson is this. You are the creator of your life, you are. You are the creator. Now, I get it. I believe in God. Some of you believe in God. If you don't, it's okay. But I believe in God. A God who loves us. A God who is loving. 
even if he tries to get you to do something and you don't want to do it. We have a lot of examples in Christian scripture where people just did not want to do what God asked them to do. So I invite you, my friends, to take a look at your life. Are you the person who would like pay for a program, buy a course, buy a tool, not use it and get mad? Are you going to let a password or a coaching program or a missed email or the wrong message or the wrong time zone? Are you really going to let a tiny little thing get in the way? Are you looking for a reason to be right or do you want to get results? You can get results or you can focus on being right, but it's not going to be both. If I were you, I would stop being the victim, be the creator of your life, make the decisions, use the program, stop blaming other people and do as Jocko says and have extreme ownership of your life. I promise you your life's going to be a lot better. Stop being a victim. Own your life. Create your life. That's the podcast for today, my friends. I promise you may not, you may think someone else's fault. You may think it's their fault. You may even have some great justification. Stop it. I said, my friends, go do something with the podcast today. Stop being a victim. Stop blaming other people. You bought a car, use it. You bought a program, use it. You hire a coach, follow the protocol. Until next time, I'm out. If this has made a difference for you, share this with someone who needs to hear it. And I will see you next time. I'm out. Let's go. Go, 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 uh-huh. go. See, it's more than the game that we changing. We don't do it for the block. Do it for the name. Yeah. No, there ain't no stopping it. If you really want it, better rock with it. This is how to be a game changer. Better put your pride down. Heavy, get your pen up. Want to be the greatest. We ain't stopping till we win. Yeah. This is how to make it when they hating. We ain't worried what they saying. This is how to, how to be a game changer.